Hello everyone, in this video we are going to set up our dev environment for flat contribution. We are going to actually follow this guide found on the flat repo contributing.md. Alright, so the first thing is to fork this repository. So I'm going to click on fork this flat repository and as you can see it forks the flat repository and please make sure you uncheck this checkbox over here. Create a fork. All right, our fork has been created successfully. So what we are going to do next is to create a project. We are going to create a new project in which our fork will be added. So I use PyCharm for that. So new project. And from here, I'm going to say, let's say, let's name it Contrib for instance. All right, so and here you say custom environment generate a new custom environment and you select poetry so as you can see over here poetry is the package manager used by flat so if you can click you can use these links to install poetry for all those using pycharm you can use poetry as such so you install poetry and you'll be able to use poetry from here so it's really simple with this so you select poetry and you give the path to your poetry. So now I click on create and the project will be created. So while it is creating the project, we are going to move to our fork and copy the link to it because we are going to clone this project into, oh, sorry, we are going to clone this fork into our project. So open the terminal and from here you say git clone and you give your link. So the link to your fork and you press enter. And the project will be cloned. So let's have a look at the contributing guide again once more. Okay, so the next step is to open the worker directory. So CD, SDK, Python and from there we install the thread dependencies. So let's have a look and as you can see our fork is now part of our project okay so the next step is to as it was said in this contributing guide you move to the sdk python and then you install cd flat sdk python and inside this one you see poetry install so it's going to collect and install the required flat dependencies so that's done Inside this Python directory, we are going to create a new directory called Playground. Please make sure you write it exactly as I wrote. So small p and no space between these two words, so play and ground, because this file is actually found in the gitignore file. So it will not be seen or viewed by your version control system. So for instance, git in my case. So you create this directory and then you move into it. And from here, you create a new file called main.py. So when you add controls, we'll be testing it inside this main.py file. So let me open it. SDK Python Playground. As you can see, look at the color. So it actually says that git ignore, ignores this directory and its content. So this main.py file. And when you move back to this, you see this, check the installation. So let's check our installation to make sure everything worked as expected. So you paste this code over here and it says, then run poetry run python hello.py. So let's move over here. So poetry run python and then the name of your file, main.py. As you can see, a window pops up with the hello world message. So this means our installation was done successfully. So this is also set over here. All right, so running tests, we are not actually going to run this, but you should run this when you make additions to the flat project. So you run the Python, you run the test, the flat test by using poetry run pytest. 
code formatting for black, you can actually see black ID integration. And you look at this article or this guide over here for your respective IDE. So that's for black and then type checking pylands. So you move to VS code and then you enable type checking as it is mentioned over here. And uh, you also install the ISOT extension. So click commit. That's not that's not necessary, I guess. Uh, so this is a possible error you might face. So if you face this error, you should resolve it as mentioned over here, and everything will work as expected after that. So let's move to the interesting part: this Flutter client. So it says over here add the following to dot z profile or to other to other profile scripts for your os we are going to copy this and then move to to the z profile so i'm on mac i have the z profile i guess linux is different and on windows is different but the thing is you need to export your path you need to export the flat view path and the flat web path so you find the you find how to do it for your os and from there you will paste it where necessary and you make remember to make the modifications so i'm going to modify this i'm actually in pycharm projects i'll modify this and i am not in the flat dev project but i am in the country project all right so i am in pycharm project slash country that's where my flat file or my flat fork is found and from there you complete it so you save this and then you close and from there it says okay if you have microsoft edge you know i'm going to use chrome instead of microsoft edge and uh, then view the flutter client okay so before that you run this printf grab flat so notice that if you do it here you won't see anything this is because you need to restart this terminal session. So I'm going to create a new one and inside here, I'm going to say this and you see my paths are recognized successfully. So please make sure your paths are recognized successfully. And from there, you move to the client. So flat and then client. So this directory over here. Inside this client, you see flutter build with the help command let me make it bigger so with this flutter build uh, we are going to build for mac os and for web i guess on windows you are also going to see windows and on linux i don't know probably linux also uh, but what you're going to see please run it so i'm on mac os i can run mac os directly so i'm going to say over here flutter build mac os So this is it. it installs the required dependencies or it resolves the dependencies and then it will build the mac os application so while it is doing that because it takes a lot of time i'm going to open a new terminal session and say cd flat and then client and inside this instead of doing mac os i'm going to do web so you actually need to build for the two platforms for the desktop platform and for the web platform so you compile for the both or you build your application for the both and uh, the boat will actually be running it takes quite a lot of time so i'm going to skip all of this all right the boat are now finished and i'm going to close one terminal session and uh, just leave one client let's actually clear this and uh, clear this so we are going to be running the flutter client so we run this command which is the poetry run flip run so let's run that uh, and move to my terminal and say poetry run flat run and then you specify the web view and you say you give the port 8550 and from here you say min.py so notice I'm in the playground that's why I can access the min.py like that so you run this okay so it gives an error and this error is actually because we did not restart 
जिस टेमिनार से शोध We are going to close that and open a new one. So we have one year for the client and one year for flat for the playground. So let's move into that. Okay, it now works. So as you can see, the application, the web application pops up over here. Let's move to the client now and say Flutter run. So when you say Flutter on, it's going to show you a list of connected devices. So macOS and Chrome are connected, so desktop and web. And under here, you can see one or two to select on which device you want your client to connect to. So if you say one over here, you connect to macOS, so you open a desktop window. Or if you say two, it's going to open a web window. For the wireless devices, you can equally use a simulator for this so let me just quit this and uh, just to show you you can equally say flutter on and you precise the device like this so with z and then mac os for instance so using the z you have to say mac os and using or if you use flutter on you can just type one or two for the corresponding device you want to run on so you can use like this or you just say as I said, Flutter on, and from here you select one to launch on desktop mode. So it's going to build the macOS application that also takes some few minutes depending on your device. Okay, so the application is now built. Hello world. And here you can see the Flutter outputs for application. So when you make modifications on this code, for instance, let's say over here flat, you see the application is directly reloaded. So hello flat and the application reflects the new changes. So that's it for the min pi, for the min.py file. When you make any change in this min.py file, it will be directly reflected on this window or on this web window we have here hello flat equally all right on the other hand when you make modifications to the flat core files so as you can see the flat sdk python flat core when you make modifications to any file over here for instance let's see this text file when you make additions or i don't know modifications on this file you will have to rebuild this application so you have to close this with ctrl c and as you can see the connection is closed because there is not no application in this spot anymore so you have to close this and just relaunch the application that's all so doing this you see the application reconnects and a new web window is opened so once you when you modify any core flat file you need to restart the application from here using the same command and that's it. On the other hand, if you modify any Dart file, so let's say the package, lib, src, and then the controls. So if you make any modifications in here or any additions to this file, all you have to do is press H on this client, so on this Flutter terminal session, and you're going to see a list of Flutter run key commands. So we have here the R or the, the R for the hot reload and hot restart respectively. So all what you do is you press R for instance and your application will be reloaded. Or you press capital R and the application will be restarted completely as you can see. So that's it. So please don't waste time by doing because another person can do you close the terminal session and then you rerun flat run maybe with the mac os flag and then you will be rebuilding all of this all over and this takes a lot of time so please instead use the hot reload and or hot restart so that's it so just to repeat myself because this is very important you you will see how necessary it is when you move on so let me have this over here 
So when you make modifications to this test file in the playground, the changes will be directly reflected on your application. On the other hand, when you make modifications to the Dart files, so any Dart file, you just have to restart or hot reload your application. So restart by using, so you press H and you're going to see the list of commands and you can either use small R or capital R to restart or reload your application. And for the last one, when you use, let's say this text, so when you modify any file in this SDK, so in the Python SDK, when you modify any file over here or when you make your additions, when you add your controls also, and you want to view the changes, you have to close this so by using Control C and restart the application all over. So this is actually the only instance where you need to close and restart the application. So as you can see, the application starts all over. So that's it for today. I think uh, when you move to the contributing guide, we are actually at the end. So filter on and uh, yeah, that's it. So if you take a look at this note, that I'm going to modify in a while. So I actually wrote this part of the contributing guide and I said back then, note that if you make changes to the Dart files, you need to use the Flutter run once more to recompile or to for the changes to take effect in your playground. So this is actually outdated because I found out that you can just use the hot reload or hot restart from the terminal. So you don't have to waste time by pressing Ctrl C and then rebuilding your application from scratch. You can actually hot restart or hot reload depending on your needs and so. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.